Hey Aries, it's Sunny. And this is your week. Uh, no, it's not. This is your mid monthly for February. I'm trying to aim around February 15th through February 29th. However, I may talk about something that has already happened in early February, or I may talk about something that will happen within early March. It just depends upon what's going on, okay? I'm doing things a bit differently. And hopefully you guys will like this layout. So yeah, let's see what's going on for my Rams. I'm picking up that some of you, like, you may feel as if, or you may have felt as if you are coming up short. Maybe you aren't getting uh, the things that you wanted, or maybe you did get the things that you want, but it really wasn't the way that you wanted it, or it wasn't the full amount of what you wanted. Um, I'm picking up that something is, like, like foolishness, or it's like, like someone is being, <laughs> oh my god. Apparently, some uh, spirit who's connecting with me was from the 70s or something. Because they're like, somebody's being a jive turkey. So, someone is like, being dishonest with you. Like, they aren't, they aren't being a true friend or like, a true promoter. Like, if you're trying to get things out. Like, you're trying to promote yourself or if someone is um, promoting you. I feel like someone isn't really doing all that they need to do. I'm seeing that like... You're putting up a ladder and you're you're wanting to climb forward, but the ladder is really, really heavy. Some of you be careful of um if you have jobs in like maybe you're a electrician, a tower, uh tower worker, whatever. Um be careful of like maybe you trying to lift heavy things on your own or like you're trying to climb up to something because I'm seeing some difficulties when it comes to climbing up and heights. Okay, um, I'm also seeing something about like the Lion King, like, <laughs> okay, maybe you're trying to have pride, maybe you're dealing with the Leo, and this may be their sun, their moon, and or their rising, maybe you feel as if this person is being shady, or like there's three sides to this Leo, or maybe you've known this person for um, three years, or um, three months, or maybe there was an issue uh, three years ago, three months ago, or there will be an issue in March, okay? Or maybe you will meet a Leo who will be either good or bad for you. It just depends upon what's going on. I'm seeing that all eyes are on you for some reason. Like, people may be gossiping about you or people may, uh, may be seeing your full potential. I'm seeing that you must gain knowledge and great wisdom within something. I'm also seeing that many of you, you may be um, infatuated with beauty. Maybe like you're seeing um, a beautiful woman or a beautiful male and you're just like, like just drop the mouth, just staring. Are you drooling? Like it's just that kind of feeling. Like you are just looking at them with like amazement, like oh my God. You are so beautiful. I want you. Or maybe you want others to look at you that way. Um, I'm seeing um, the like the eye of the beholder, apple of my eye kind of deal. So maybe you want to be that to someone or you will be that uh, way to someone. But I'm also seeing that many of you, like there's some sort of accomplishment. There's some sort of beauty or baby that you're trying to work with. Like maybe your goals are your babies and like you just want them to grow and you want them to be beautiful. But I'm seeing that like you are going to be patient with yourself. I'm picking up that like many of you, like you have so much to learn. Hopefully you guys like the way I'm doing things. It's a bit different. But I'm going to let these four cards represent things that are coming or will come into your life. Okay. With this, I'm picking up on accomplishments. Once again, the whole pride thing. So maybe pride 
like maybe you're too prideful with something so be careful of your cockiness and arrogance i do feel like many of you like you are going to gain some sort of promotion or some sort of accomplishment and all eyes big possibility that all eyes will be on you so you know make sure that you do that you, you do what you need to do i'm also thinking of that you, that you need to be careful of gossiping and um spreading news because you don't know who's listening to you like it may be like just you and one person in a room but someone may be like at the door listening like okay so you don't want to um say anything that's going to get you in trouble or say anything that's going to allow for an argument to happen um i'm picking up with this that you must be a leader you must gain your determination your stamina strength do all that you need to do i feel like you need to bring people in like uh cooperate with people um give thanks to people like give thanks to your teammates give thanks to your manager like if you know just see that like you you wouldn't be able to do it on your own you wouldn't be able to do it by yourself like be mindful and be thankful of your supporters um, whether it's your friend or your family I feel that you are really headstrong I'm also picking up on for some reason like a false victory like be careful of you celebrating or you um, being extremely happy too quickly because something can be taken away from you I'm seeing that something is going to be redone okay but so just make sure that you really do all that you have to do you work really really hard okay I'm picking up on a competition and it's like neck to neck okay and like you are you have some stiff competition right now with somebody or someone is being really competitive with you whether you know it or not so if you feel like oh I'm gonna win this I got this like don't be too cocky too quick cuz somebody may steal your prize okay but I'm picking up that you guys are on the right track. I'm also picking up that if you are too greedy or if you are too cocky, it's not gonna it's not gonna be in your favor. With this, I'm picking up on um lies, deception. You feeling as if you have to do things on your own, a lot of broken promises. The five of swords is looking at the um six of rods and the six of rods is um, walking towards the five of swords so you may be walking into a situation where uh maybe something was rigged or maybe you didn't get what you want tying into me talking about like something is short like you feel shorted within something um maybe you feel as if someone isn't giving you the proper recognition that you deserve some of you okay um, I'm picking up that you're going to have to fight to get what it is that you want or maybe when you when you do get to the top or like when you do get that price like you may see that people don't like you no more okay people can be petty like you win something and you know like your friends you find out that they were your enemies in disguise okay so I do feel like you you will be aware of this um I'm also picking up like broken promises when it comes to like friendships and relationships or someone like not really giving you what you want or like making promises that like they can't keep and it's just really really weird. I'm picking up that someone's pride is in the way. Uh, with relationships like when pride is in the way it's never good. I'm also picking up that people are walking out of your life or you're walking out of someone's life. I'm picking up on a sexual relationship or like a really hated friendship or partnership whatever the case may be and i'm seeing that like you or this person is just like i can't do it no more i'm i'm tired of it i'm picking up on lack of interest lack of commitment um i'm also picking up like i just keep seeing that someone is walking out of your life i also feel that this is going to be a really good time for you is apologizing so maybe you're discovering that old people are coming back within your life to say that they're sorry or to say that they miss you or maybe you will do this i'm picking up that there's hurt there's grief you're, you're grieving over someone you're i feel like um 
maybe someone died in a an accident and you're grieving over them maybe there's some um, documentation or legal issues going on around this case or around this autopsy and um you know you're seeing you're seeing the truth of something i'm picking up that truth is coming to the light on an accident whether it's whether a, a death was involved or someone was injured i'm picking up on injuries okay um yeah I'm also picking up that you must be mindful that with with every story there's three sides to every story there's your side the other person's side and the truth okay or if you're dealing with two friends that are arguing that's his side of the story that's her side and then there's the truth I feel like some of you like your friends if you are dealing with this like your friends or people who like want you to take sides and you're like i don't know i want to remain neutral within this i'm picking up that like they are just done and they don't really care they're like look you need to pick a side i'm, I'm not being there for you or i'm not helping you out anymore and I, i'm seeing that someone is going to get hurt i'm seeing that two people is going to get hurt but i'm picking up that one person is just going to be like oh well i don't oh well it is what it is um i feel like if you have to do that then like they weren't really true friends or like true family members in the beginning because it, we not we're not in grade school no more no one really picks sides but i'm also picking up with this you may feel as if you're obligated to pick a side or like you're obligated to choose something but i'm picking up that like you seriously need to be in the in the right headspace to pick out something don't do things because someone is bribing you or someone is giving, you know, you attitude or false friendship. That's what I'm picking up. Be careful of illusions. Be careful of you repeating things and like you becoming obsessive or you becoming insane with things. I'm picking up that truth will come to the light, reality um is going to be the big factor like truth is going to be revealed i'm also picking up like secrets things it's going to come to the light i also feel that your inner demons are coming out and you're going to have to face or deal with something you're going to have to cope with something um i'm seeing that like you're being hit with reality be mindful of your intuition understand your intuition really listen to it um I'm picking up that many of you like you don't know where to go you don't know what to choose you don't know what to become you don't know who to believe in anymore I'm picking up that you are relying on something or someone's judgment too much and I feel like you you need to like just really listen to your own judgment like you just need to calm down breathe count to 10 count to 20 count to 50 whatever number you want to because the truth will come in through you reality like you are your own reality it's just you need to stop placing illusions or giving yourself the benefit of the doubt sometimes i'm also picking up with this um you may find that your emotions are just really really rocky and that you know you may be clingy with someone or you may discover that someone is either being clingy or distant with you With this, I'm picking up like a uh, new friendships are coming in, new relationships for some of you. Um, whether it's from past lovers or maybe there's a reconnecting of something or someone, or maybe the relationship that you have right now is more stable, was more exciting. I'm picking up on excitement, um, engagements, marriages, pregnancies, um, reaching out to people, others reaching out to you. Um, happiness, emotional happiness is coming in. Or like you you need to understand this. I'm picking up. This is going to be really, really strong around the 10th of March for some reason. When is the 10th of March? So, uh, do you do, do one, two, wait, one, two, three. Like three weeks from now, you may go through some inner happiness. Maybe you're starting a new relationship. Maybe there's um, engagements, marriages, maybe... Um, I wanted to say something else, but I couldn't think of it. 
maybe a pregnancy like I said earlier uh, that's what I wanted to say a pregnancy whether it's unexpected or planned um, I feel like there's just going to be like celebrations family gatherings maybe cookouts if the weather is warm um, celebration but I'm also picking up like you aren't some of you like you aren't satisfied like you aren't really getting what you want or like I said like um, you're getting a little bit of what you want but it, it isn't how you expected it to be be mindful of your expectations for real these three cards I'm gonna let those represent the challenges that you will face really interesting okay so some of you you may have some difficulties with your finances or you you don't feel um, secure within something a lack of security um, you're you aren't really taking care of your body properly or maybe you're noticing some changes with your body um, maybe there's something going on within your womb maybe you're having some cramps maybe your period is off for my females maybe there uh, is irregular or it's more lighter or it's heavier like there's some weirdness going on with your um your womanly organs um I'm picking up that you must make some sacrifices, some some changes with the things that you were accustomed to, the, what you call home. Something is going on with your home. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're cutting something off. Maybe you have to downsize something. Um, I'm picking up that many of you like maybe you want to move, but you aren't in the proper space to move, or um, things aren't really going your way like something is going on with time maybe you have to wait three weeks or three months um, or maybe three years for a movement or maybe you will move within March tying it to three, uh, three weeks um, some of you like you may have some issues with an earth sign uh, Capricorn Taurus and Virgo this may be their sun the moon and or their rising maybe you aren't getting along with this person during this time maybe this person is trying to go out of your life maybe you feel choked with this person or you feel suffocated or, or this person feels suffocated with you I'm seeing like someone's trying to control someone or someone is just trying to hold on to whatever pieces are left like no they don't care what kind of relationship it is whether it's just phone or texting or sex like they just want to be in your life or you want to be in their life I'm picking up that you may have some issues with mother. Um, maybe you aren't really communicating with your mother. Maybe your mother is having some financial issues. Maybe your mother is having issues with her own mother. Maybe she's missing her mother. Maybe um, she's being too, too smothering. Or maybe you're being too smothering when it comes to your children. Um, once again, finances. I'm seeing an alert with your finances, like a lot of notifications with your finances. You need to be mindful of your health during this time, okay? Also, I'm picking up on like pregnancies, maybe like conceiving, maybe you're having trouble conceiving, or like I said, unexpected pregnancy. With this, there's a lot of noise with your intuition. You aren't really listening to it or you don't really know what is your intuition. You're like, is this it? Who's talking to me? Who am I hearing right now? You, you aren't really listening to yourself. You aren't understanding yourself because you have so much noise in your head. Everything is going on. You don't know what to do. It's too much drama. Too much is going on within your life and you're taking it to... Um, to bed with you like you can't really sleep there you need to acknowledge something there's something that you aren't really understanding I'm seeing that um, many of you you need to be careful of the secrets and mystery tying into the moon card and the five of swords the truth will come to the light people like you will understand people's true motives people will understand your motives um, I'm seeing that once again you need to be mindful of just like reproductive organs okay make sure everything is good with that um i'm also picking up with this that you you need to be mindful of your spirituality really listen to it understand what your god and your angels are trying to say to you this is going to be a really good time for you to ask your god and your angels for forgiveness for things that you've done okay 
I'm also saying with the moon, you need to be careful of your emotional side. And you need, there's something upon the moon, um, maybe like the crescent or the waxing phase of the moon, like just pray upon the moon. I'm picking up on manifestation. So there's going to be a, like pray upon the moon during each phase, okay? Learn different phases of the moon because the moon will be really, really helpful for manis, uh, manifestations and cleansings and letting go. Uh, I'm also picking up with this the fruit. I talked about an apple. Like there's a um like maybe you want to grow, like you want to be juicy to someone or you want to be shrunk like shrunk this to someone. Or like maybe someone is just seeing you as a piece of meat and you're realizing that or like maybe you're seeing someone else as a piece of meat. Once again, a lot of earth elements. So maybe you're having difficulties with understanding like stability and like structure within something like grounding. Maybe you aren't feeling grounded during this time. Maybe you feel as if your head is in the clouds or like you are just looking up at the sky for too long. Maybe um, you aren't really seeing eye to eye with earth signed people or people who are maybe quiet. Maybe people who... Um, our discipline I'm picking up on competitive energy or like you feel intimidated or threatened by someone um, because of their possessions or because of the things that they have I'm seeing that you know like you may lack something and you may be kind of envious or jealous or you may be putting yourself down because you don't have these things I'm also picking up that many of you like you're just too busy paying attention to to the details it's time for you to see the bigger picture it's time for you to see both you know the details and the bigger picture okay but i'm seeing that like you really need to pay attention to um just the big picture the the big surrounding maybe you want a, a larger like you want more land maybe you want a bigger home maybe you want maybe you need to make room for i'm picking up that like you're buying things like cars like things that that are drivable four wheelers motorcycles cars um maybe you need more room bikes um and it's and it's more expenses it's, it's more money and i'm seeing that like you're holding money up at a pedestal or you're throwing away money but you need to save it i'm picking up that you may have trouble uh, trouble with um short attention span maybe someone isn't being faithful within a relationship maybe you aren't being faithful within a relationship maybe you're jumping from one thing to another and you aren't really completing things uh, fully or you aren't really getting the proper side of the story because you're just like eavesdropping or you're hearing he said and she said and you aren't really going to the main source of something. I feel like you need to go to the main source. Um, this is going to be a really good time for you to like um, exercise, get stuff done, get to the root of problems, okay? I'm also picking up that you aren't willing to learn something. You aren't willing to comprehend or compromise with something or someone. Okay. I'm seeing that you are ignoring beautiful things. You you are um you are so infatuated by maybe the principle or the wealthiness of something that you aren't paying attention to the simple beauty of something. Maybe example like my men, maybe you see a, a sexy ass woman with big ass titties and you're like, oh my God, I, I like her titties. But, and then like you get, and like you just like her because of her boobs and like you aren't really getting to know her mind. You aren't really getting to know her heart because you're just so infatuated with her boobs. Maybe um, people like, Maybe you want a bigger home because you want to you want people to know that like you have money or you want people to know that like you can you can get a big home. But I feel like you need to be mindful of like simple things. Maybe you don't need a, a five bedroom home and it's just you. What you need five bedrooms for? Okay, you're just gonna use one, maybe two rooms. Alright, so just I feel like you need to be mindful of the simple things in life, okay? But you, the challenge may be with, with finances as well. Also, I'm picking up on a mistress. Maybe your mistress is finding about uh, the other person or your mate's mistress is finding about you. These three cards, other three cards, I'm going to let this represent relationships for my singles, married, couples, and talking. Aries. Alright, with this, I'm picking up on 
unhappiness like I feel like someone isn't giving you what you want and it's just like oh my god do they not like me do they not want me I'm picking up that some of you like you feel rejected and unwanted some of you like you aren't satisfied or someone likes you but you you don't want them you want someone else you're chasing after someone else um you aren't giving someone the benefit of the doubt. You you aren't accepting dates. You're declining something. You're declining invitations. Um, I feel like you have someone who you have your eyes on. Some of you, like, you have um, potential partners. You have options. Or maybe your mate has options. Um, I'm picking up that there may be some separations with relationships or people. If you're talking to somebody, like, you may go, go away from them or they may go away from you. Because I'm seeing that like you aren't really comprehending, like you you aren't really meshing. You're on two different levels, two different paths, two different uh, wavelengths, and they aren't meshing together. I'm picking up on delays. I'm picking up that like there's no stability, there's no structure for some of you. Um, it's just like you are you aren't really you're just wanting someone just to have someone. Some of you. On a brighter note, I do feel. That many of you, like you, will gain an understanding of the relationship. There's going to be passion with the relationship. You are more understanding with the direction of the relationship. Like you're nailing something. You're, I feel like many of you, like you're nailing um, a home. Maybe you're building something with your mate or you want to build something. So you're taking the proper steps into doing this. I'm seeing um, that you're back to the worrying and you're feeling rejected. Like... Maybe you haven't heard from your partner and you're just like, do they not want me? Are they are they dead? Are they alive? What what the hell is going on? Um, I'm just picking up on some boredom. Like someone isn't really interested anymore for some of you. Um, I'm saying that relationships are going to be kind of weird for some. Like maybe there's like motives, hidden agendas, hidden motives. Um, maybe you guys aren't really compromising or understanding what's going on, but it has for some of you it has potential to gain a, a strong and stern foundation. But I'm seeing that there's going to have to be compromised understanding with the relationship. Like both of you are going to have to be able to gain self control. You're going to have to be able to gain like really be driven to really um, succeed with this relationship. If you if you're if you aren't really into it. Or if you're just like just in something just to be in something then it's going to fail because I'm picking up that relationships from my Aries are fairly fragile right now okay but for this I'm gonna let um, this single card represent your mindset during this time okay with this I feel like you are really 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 focused on the future you want things to go your way. You're you're looking at long-term goals. Be mindful of short-term goals as well. I'm saying that you want to put the past to to rest. You want to move. You want to see new things. You want to experience new things. You want to enjoy new things. You want you want to feel love. You want to feel structured. Um I can okay, number 3 like maybe something with the number three mother father child maybe there's some issues going on with parents i talked about like relationships with parents a while back for you guys um maybe if you have children like maybe um the mother of your child isn't there or the father of your child really isn't there or like they aren't really helping you as much i talked about that earlier just now um i'm also picking up that you need to i feel like things need to be aligned or you need to like really plan things out like instead of jumping from one thing to another or like you're mentally jumping from one thing to another I feel like you just need to like finish things out one by one or if you are jumping from one thing to another like if that suits you best I feel like you should be mindful of the energy keep the energy with this one thing keep the energy with that other thing and then for the last thing just keep I feel like you need to be mindful of separation whether it's separation of relationships or maybe you're separating yourself from the pack and you want to be the leader you want to gain authority many of you like you want that stamina you want that you want that position of you have you like you call the shots okay many of you like you want to get your life back you want to get your control back 
some of you like you may be traveling to new things whether it's traveling to a new mindset or just traveling to um, new land you're visiting things be careful of uh, traveling because I'm picking up on wrecks or maybe you're thinking of someone who um, died in a wreck okay um, I just I'm picking up on children for some reason maybe you need to be careful of you having a child like mine also be mindful of your children if you do have children like really consider them like the actions that and decisions that you make you know it does affect them um i'm also picking up that some of you like there may be a child coming into the picture whether you want it to be or not so you're just gonna have to prepare i feel like yeah prepared you need to be like either you are preparing yourself or you need to be prepared for something but I'm going to let these cards represent important messages that you guys must understand or important messages that will come to you for mid-February, February 15th through the 29th. Three cards, important messages for you. I'm saying that like you need to like you need to get the angle of something like the right angle because I, I saw like a bow like you're bowing maybe some of you um maybe you're, you're buying bows for hunting or maybe you were aiming like you got into like uh cross bowing and maybe you're working on your aim I feel like there's a target that you need to be mindful of so it's either a hit or miss be mindful of your aim be mindful of like a foundation firm foundation sacrifice so many of you just know that um you are gonna have to let something go whether it's positive or negative i feel like with this you cannot be afraid many of you like you may be afraid of the unknown but i'm picking up the like you need to be confident within yourself Okay, I'm also picking up that you need to see the beauty within everything. Okay, something is living out of your life because something new is trying to come in or something new will come in. Okay, whether you like it or not, something new is coming in. So just be mindful of whatever it is that you must sacrifice, whether it's internally or externally. Fertility. So that may, maybe, just maybe... There may be a pregnancy, whether you want it to be or not. Or maybe there's a growth within a relationship. Maybe there's a growth within yourself. Okay, with the fertility, her heart chakra is really, really bright. So I'm picking up that you must um, face this new growth with love, with harmony, with acceptance. Also, I feel like you, you need to ground yourself. You need to get to the root of things. Um, please take care of yourself. The number three keeps popping up for you guys, okay? So that's really, really interesting. Um, oh, yeah, number three with the 12. Two plus one, three. Cool. Okay. Um, I feel like the the circle of life, like, funny because the Lion King, I talked about Lion King, like the circle of life, like maybe the animal kingdom. There's a kingdom that you want, you know, to proclaim. There's something that you want to be in charge in. So that's really interesting. Um but also, I feel like you need to share love and you need to, um, like, you need to be genuine when it comes to love, whether it's with other people and with yourself. And you need to be genuine. And you need to allow for others to be genuine with you. Really understand who's genuine who's, and who's not. But I'm picking up the, like, a connection with a female figure or connection with your mother. Number three. Oh, my Jesus. This is so crazy. Um, heartache and loss. So, I honestly feel like people are going to go out of your life or you will just walk away from others and, you know, things may not go your way and you may get really, really hurt. But I'm seeing that, you know, like tying into the sacrifice shit happens, you know, things that we really care about, they leave. Um, if it's not really meant to be. But I'm picking up like, you must be patient and you must, you know, allow for this to go. Like, you can't hold on to things. You can't because it's just going to cause sadness and sorrow for you. Um, many of you, like you may be leaving out of relationships. There may be a break within relationship. Maybe you're discovering infidelity. 
okay and I'm picking up that like you are gonna have to be able to like really patch your heart up and to just like take the loss and like keep keep moving the best way that you sincerely can like that's seriously all you can do um that's seriously all you can do but I'm picking up that honestly you will be okay like many of you like you do feel stabbed in the heart or you will feel stabbed in the heart but that's really interesting for number three mother father child past present future body mind and spirit so I guess really make sure that your relationships with your parents and your children um, are really really good um, be mindful of your past your present and where you're going into your future like you know your past is in the past you've overcome great things in your past you must be mindful of um, your present be strong in order for you to become stronger within your future okay um, with your mind your body and, and spirit make take care of your body I feel like many of you like you need forgiveness of your soul and like just be mentally sane within things emotional withdrawal so many of you like you you do need to get away okay or like maybe you just don't feel in the proper headspace to really do something or maybe like when push comes to shove like you just want to get away from things and people and maybe you do need to take some time out to yourself to reflect and to you know really understand what your inner soul is telling you since you are having some issues with understanding your um your inner voice okay Hopefully you guys enjoyed the message. Good luck with everything. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye.